This is the logic board out of a 2010 MacBook Pro 13 inch and I have a 2010 and a 2009 with this same issue. The issue is that there is no Wi-Fi detected anywhere uh, in the system report. We're under Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi tab right now. There's no hardware, Ethernet cards, there's no hardware. So the issue, or at least the, uh, the problem here that I found, is that there are two melted components right here. Now I'll put in a picture of those because the camera's not picking it up very well uh, due to focusing. But there are two little components and they've melted together and scorched the board. If we take a look on the other side of the board, you'll see that those are exactly on the other side of the Wi-Fi and camera uh, flex cable connection. I believe the short occurred just due to a, a crease or a bend in the flex cable and it caused a little short out on the board. Now there's no Wi-Fi. So the only workaround that I've been able to figure out uh, to get Wi-Fi on a MacBook Pro with this issue is to buy a $20 USB dongle. Um, this is pretty much the smallest one that they can even sell. The smallest one out there. Uh, 20 bucks. installed the software and it worked fine. Uh, it's detected under USB devices. So there's the 802.11N WLAN adapter made by Realtek and there we go. There is uh, this MacBook Pro. It still does have some issues uh, due to the lack of Wi-Fi module being detected. Uh, one of those issues would be that when you go to shut it down, it shuts down flawlessly, but then it immediately boots back up. So if you're having a MacBook Pro do that to you, uh, and you'll see in just a second, then the Wi-Fi might be your issue. Uh, we'll just let it shut down, and then we'll see. So I haven't pressed anything, and it turns right back on. No way around that. Uh, the only way I've been able to turn it off is just by shutting it down and then as soon as it turns off holding down the power button until it's completely powered off. So if you're having an issue, anything described in this video, um, check out your Wi-Fi. That's probably your culprit right there. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd give my two cents on this issue and maybe I'll help one of you guys out. So, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to leave any feedback if you have any, any other workarounds to this or whatever. Again, thanks for watching.